Hello guys, the best way to increase the quality of your AI coding agent is of course to provide guidelines. In Cloud Code it's Cloud MD file, in Cursor it may be Cursor settings rules for user or for project. But did you know there are multiple levels where you can place those guidelines and depending on how you prompt it will take one file or another file. Let me show you examples in Cloud Code in Cursor. So let's start with Cloud Code. On the official documentation page, probably the most known for us is .cloud.md, which is in the main folder of the project usually, the one that I'm showing you on the screen here, which is basically taken into account in whatever prompt of that project. But also you can go one level up and have user memory. In Cloud Code it's called memories, in Cursor it's called rules. And Generally, they are called guidelines or instructions. Confusing, I know. But in addition to that, you may provide cloud code separately in subfolders like this. So let's make an experiment and test which cloud files are taken into specific prompt. So in general cloud MD, I have general instructions for any code, then PHP, Laravel, and testing. So let's divide them into general code instructions I will put into my user file cloud MD. So let's cut, save, and then in the terminal I open my user cloud MD, paste here, and save. Okay, so I have local user level cloud MD, also I have main cloud MD, and another layer is testing instructions, which are relevant mostly for tests folder inside of my Laravel and Filament project. So I've put separate cloud MD here, and let's remove those instructions from the main cloud MD. We currently have three cloud MD files. And let's create number four in resources views, for example, new file, cloud MD, with instruction of this. So in the blade files, I want to use Tailwind 4 specifically and run npm run build when done. And now let's try to prompt. And this will be my actual prompt, which touches only resources views folder. And let's see whether it will run npm run build automatically as instructed in subfolder of resources views. As you can see, resources views cloud MD is mentioned in the plan. Do you want to make this edit? Yes. So the edit is successful. Now I need to run npm run build. See, it's taken cloud MD from sub folder. And if we proceed, it will run npm run build. Okay, it is done. Also, we can ask Claude which Cloud MD files does it take into account. So here's a prompt. If I want to generate a test in my prompt, what Cloud MD files would it take into account? So it searches for the patterns, found tests Cloud MD, and here's the answer. Tests Cloud MD, most specific, it would start from there, then it would find Cloud MD in the main folder, and then also Cloud MD global for my user. And as you can see, resources views Cloud MD would not be taken into account here because I don't touch any files from that specific folder. So in this way, you can separate and divide your Cloud MD files by folders, projects, and globally for your user. The benefit of that is that the context for the prompt is smaller and likely cheaper, so uses fewer tokens. If you put everything in one Cloud MD, then that everything will be passed to LLM each time and would likely be slower or sometimes even pollute the context with unnecessary information. That's why personally I don't like the command slash init which you can run for your project and Cloud Code will analyze your project and generate that in it. Let's actually try to do that. But before, let's delete the main Cloud MD like it didn't exist and then run slash init. So it's analyzing the code base. As you can see, already more than one minute passed. So it's analyzing MD files, package JSON, composer JSON and more tool uses, more lines to read, so it takes time. Interestingly, it found that there's cursor rules, which I want to show separately in this video talking about cursor. 
so it tries to take those into account. So then it analyzes existing cloud MDs from subfolders and will try to probably combine it. And yeah, in more than two minutes, it provides something like this. If we close the terminal, this is our cloud MD that it suggests. What would be the terminal commands, project overview, commands for core development testing, database architecture patterns, structure, service layer patterns, code conventions, so more than 100 lines of instructions and then those instructions would be sent with every prompt whatever you prompt about which may be okay but if you want to optimize the workflow this is probably not the best way especially since automatic slash init wouldn't know everything about your project about requirements it would just analyze the code base and would blindly set the rules based on your existing code which may not be ideal so it may miss something important so even if you do use slash init double check what it generates do not trust it blindly now let's move to cursor examples if you use cursor it's a bit different here so it's called project rules and they are set in dot cursor slash rules which you may also control from cursor settings here which is exactly what i did so there are user rules for all my cursor projects so these are general code instructions but also in project rules i may add a rule specify a file name and then that file would be saved in dot cursor slash rules as mdc file and then in this case cursor doesn't automatically take specific rules it depends on this settings always apply false which means that this rule will be applied only if you mention it in the prompt so for example if you prompt for something around filament you may specify a specific rule of filament dot mdc as part of your prompt and if you open any cursor file like here you will see a drop down here which will basically set always apply value and here are different options always apply apply intelligently which basically means ai decides apply to specific files this is meant to be for specific files like typescript files like json like dot blade dot php and stuff like that and also similarly to cloud code you may provide nested rules so have a folder dot cursor slash rules in some folder of your project down below then according to the cursor docs those rules will be automatically applied when files are referenced from that folder and what is also said inside of those cursor rules docs this is exactly what I meant by dividing and splitting the rules. This is best practices, keep rules under 500 lines. Of course, we generated 100 lines with cloud code, which is also fine, but basically the message is keep it short. And it's even specifically said split large rules into multiple composable rules. This is in the cursor docs, but I think it's applicable for any AI agent with the context. So yeah, what do you think about splitting those cloud MD and rules files? Do you do that in your project? Or you just put everything into one rules file and go with the flow? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.